Hello, is this incredibly close? Well, let's get close enough to answer this question and it is kind of dark. How do you handle clients that either divorce or break up after you shoot and you need to really collect your full payment? What do you do? This is a very tough question to ask and it has only happened to me once after an engagement shoot and it really comes down to what do you do after you've signed a contract with the client? They most likely have paid some type of deposit, if not you know, a large, a large sum of everything and it involves maybe an engagement couple or a couple uh, breaking up before you, you know, before you actually shoot or after, which are two totally different things, and I'll separate them aside and tell you what to do. Or it's a wedding couple that divorce, you know, as they posted your security deposit, or that they have broken up afterwards and you still haven't delivered the photos because, you know, maybe something happened or something went wrong. So here's what you do in all of these cases. Tackling the engagement photos and assuming that uh, I'm assuming that in every scenario that you have a security deposit because if not, you're doing business wrong. Collecting a deposit is one of the most important things. So you've signed the contract, maybe you have a week or two to go, you've canceled some things because they've blocked you out, hence the, the security deposit in case of cancellation and hopefully you know it being non-refundable. And they're like, hey, you know, we broke up, you know, can we get the refund back? Uh, and I would uh, and you really have to be sensitive to what the issue is or what happened and especially maybe if there was, you know, a passing or a death or something like that. If there's a death pretty every time, 100% of the time, uh, I will give back any money that you gave because that just sucks and, you know, if I can help out any way I can like that, I would absolutely do that. But assuming that there's no death or anything that uh, dark, I would definitely, you know, keep the security deposit. Uh, you know, I can't help that you broke up. I'm sorry that that happened, but I'm also not going to take the contract and say, well, you gotta pay me the full 100% and be a dick like that. I'm gonna say, hey, you pay me the security deposit. You know, I lost other business, but I'm not gonna go, uh, you know, to that way. And then if, if it's the counterpoint, and if you already have the photos, you already got paid most of it, I, in regards to engagement uh, photos, I probably still won't refund fully everything anyway, just because, you know, we did the shoot and it, you're not getting that much money, you know, maybe an engagement shoot's under 500 bucks, maybe you paid me 300, you're still saving $200, so, I don't know, engagements, I don't really go that crazy with, um, unless it's something serious, but you're at least saving some money and I'm not being screwed over because something happened and because uh, someone cheated on someone else. Weddings are a whole different type of animal though. So within a wedding, if they basically paid the deposit and they break up, uh, once again, I will not refund, I will not give that deposit back because I could have shot something else that day. I've done the wedding and I usually give photos back within you know, three weeks to a month anyway because uh, I edit them all myself so I can't really get through them that quickly as well compared to you know working a full-time job and say something happens they need to break up or uh, or you know or get a divorce or something like that in annulment because things just didn't work out there's fighting and all that kind of stuff and they're like hey can we get our money back I will probably take you know most of it anyway uh, because one they probably still didn't fully pay I do get a lot of full payments at all depending on what your pricing structure is and how you collect it I feel like you do half a third and a third and a third or full pricing and everything like that always get a security deposit though I will still you know probably take on basically 75% of everything because I did most of all the work I have everything edited I understand that it was your life event it is not the photographer's fault to do that yeah I could probably I could take 100% but I just Morally, I kind of just want to help out a little bit because I know it's tough in those cases. Um, but I will never not give anything back unless something extreme happens. Please tell me your thoughts down below. What would you do in those cases? What would you do in those exact cases? Uh, you know, before shooting and after shooting, what would you do? Would you give money back? How would you handle that situation? So give your thoughts down in the comments below. Please give this video a quick like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for more videos every time of the week. I just fell right there. That was very weird. I lost balance. Eric Ross, the guy with the eye. Keep an eye out.